and bring in now Chief Health Editor Dr. Partha Nandi this Monday afternoon to dive in a little deeper into Merck's new drug. So, Doc, there's a lot of excitement around this experimental treatment. If it's approved, do you think it could be a game changer? Yeah, I think it's, it really could be. It's very, very encouraging, Glenda. And when it comes to treating COVID, Merck's oral antiviral treatment, and it's called molnupiravir, could really be groundbreaking, as you said. This pill, according to the research, has the potential to reduce hospitalization or death by nearly 50% in patients who have early symptoms. So not only could it potentially help people uh, who get infected, it could also help some of my colleagues who have been fatigued in hospitals and overwhelmed with sick COVID patients, which is which is a great thing. Not to mention, it could also help with outbreaks in countries that are still struggling to get the COVID vaccines or, or those countries who have weaker healthcare systems. But before any of that can happen, the FDA has to do what? They have to look at the data, scrutinize the data for Merck's clinical trials and make sure that the antiviral treatment is not only effective, but also importantly safe. And, and remember, there are over 700 participants, Glenda, and the final trial was cut short because the antiviral treatment was working so well. So it's really good news, but we have not heard what the side effects are. That's another important piece of this. And Merck did report that participants, both in the placebo group, right, and the group taking the experimental pill, both experience adverse effects. So doc, there are other antibody drugs that can be given after COVID-19 exposure, but Merck's oral antiviral treatment is much simpler. Please explain. It really is simpler. So remember, there are three FDA authorized antibody drugs, but the main ones we use in the U.S. are from Regeneron and Eli Lilly. Now, all the approved antibody treatments, uh, Glenda, require an IV or an injection, so they need to be administered in a medical setting, whereas this pill, Molnupiravir, is a capsule that, that can potentially be taken at home, right? It's much cheaper than the other, other treatments, too. So lots of positives here, but we'll know more details once the FDA has really gone through the data from Merck. And I expect that we'll have a yes or no in the coming weeks. Again, I want to stress something really important, that the antibody treatments are not a replacement for vaccines. Neither is Merck's antiviral pill. And if it's approved, it will be another tool in the toolbox to help speed recovery. But to me, the best protection, again, is to get vaccinated against COVID-19. So I encourage anybody who hasn't, to go get vaccinated right away. That's how we get out, get out of this, really. That's the way to be able to fight the COVID and beat this pandemic. All right, Dr. Nandy, we appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. And if you have a coronavirus question for the good doctor, email him, drnandy at askdrnandy.com, or you can send it to us on Facebook or Twitter, and we'll get it right to him.